There are two methods to get to the All41 Document Center. Go to the tax section of all41.com and click on the Document Center button. This will navigate to the public page of the Document Center. Click the Sign In button at the top right. Open your browser and go to the Doc Hub website using the following URL https colon slash slash dockhub.com click sign in from the menu at the top right and log into your account using your username and password click on documents in the left menu bar to navigate to the document center then click new documents in the top left menu select the folder to store the upload file and make sure that the visibility tag is set to private. Click the upload button and select the file to upload. Scroll to the section of the document with the signature and date fields. Click on the Manage Fields item in the menu bar, or press the F key to toggle Manage Field Mode. Select the People tab in the sidebar on the right. Enter the email address for each signer on the document and click Add, twice, after each email entry. After adding all the document signers, select the signature field in the left menu bar, and align the cursor plus, with the bottom left corner of the signature field on the form, and click the left mouse button. Repeat this process for all the signature fields on the document. Next, select the date field menu item on the left menu bar, and align the cursor plus, with the bottom left corner of the date field on the document, and click the left mouse button. Again repeat the steps for all the date fields. Select the first signature field and click the NA or not assigned button on the blue section above the field. Click the email of the signer to be assigned to this field. Repeat the process for all the fields to be completed, signed, and dated. Once all the fields are assigned, click the F key to exit the field edit mode. Select the menu in the top right corner and click share and send. This window provides some pre-configuration settings. To send the document as an attachment, create a shareable link. Here we can also see the document owner and policies. Here we can also add more collaborators if necessary. Click send sign request to continue. In this section we see the signers and the number of fields that they are assigned. Here we can also see that there are unassigned fields, this means that there are other fillable fields on the document that have not been assigned to anyone. This may be ignored if the signature and date fields are the only ones that are required on the document. The permission section shows who has permission to view, and who will receive a final copy of the signed document. Additional views may be added in this section. The options section shows the contents of the email that will be sent with the document and provide placeholders for making changes to the email configuration. Click the send request button to send the document. Details of the sign request, including status, are displayed at the top left of the document. Click the menu with the down arrow at the top right of the document window and select back to dashboard. Click sent, in the menu bar at the left, to view the most recent document that was sent. 
the status of the document will show waiting and will change to finalized when all signers have signed the document. The signer receives the email with a view document button, which opens the document and waits for the signer's input. The signer is required to select the checkbox agreeing to the use of electronic records and signatures before clicking the Let's Do This button. He or she is then allowed to scroll through the document, dating and signing each required field. When all the fields are completed, the signer must click the finalize button at the top right of the document window. The sign request is completed when all signers have signed the document.